Okay, so let's first start with uncertainty. Plus or minus a number represents the esti estimated uncertainty. Percent uncertainty is the uncertainty over the measured value multiplied by 100, which converts into percent, basically. When uncertainty is not specified, it is assumed as one of the digits of the last digit specified. That might seem confusing, but it's actually pretty simple. So if your 8.8 .8 is the value calculated and you want to find the, you're, you're not giving the uncertainty, you can imply that it's 0.1, which is one of the last digit, and that is equal to 0 0.01 which is an uncertainty. Now, if you want to make that into a percent, you multiply that times 100%, and you get 1%. Um, now, significant figures uh, measure the percent accuracy. Um, basically, you draw a map of the U.S. Um, and Atlantic Ocean, Pacific Ocean, and you whether the if the per, if the decimal is absent, you start for, start counting from the right side, and you start at the first non-zero digit and don't stop counting. And if otherwise, you, if the decimal is present, you start from the left side and keep on counting from the first non-zero digit. The scientific notation expresses numbers as powers of 10. Allows, it allows numbers of significant figures to be clearly expressed. So for instance, 36,900 equals 3.69 times 10 to the fourth. SI units are a standard measuring system in science. Um, me meter, second, kilogram, ampere, kelvin, mole, and candela are all SI units. Um, an easy way to go back and forth between SI units, SI units are based on a power, power, um, power of 10, so an easy way to go from like centimeters to meters, kilograms to grams is using dimensional analysis, which uses the conversion factors.